Hi guys, I'm Priyanshi and I'm a CA final student. Of late, I've been getting a lot of questions about what exactly I do. A lot of people ask me, are you a student or are you working or are you teaching? So there's a lot of confusion around that. So I thought I'll do a video on this. Uh, so the first thing is that um, I'm a CA final student, which means I've completed my first and second level of CA. The first level is known as CA foundation and the second level is known as CA intermediate. So I've finished those two. And uh, in CA, there's a requirement that uh, once you finish these two levels, uh, you can you have to join articleship, which is like a three year internship. So this three year internship is like a full time job, except uh, you are an intern in the company. So you get paid a stipend and alongside these three years of articleship, uh, you have to work. Uh, you have to work with the firm and you also have to uh, study for your CA final exams. So only once I finish my CA final exams is when I can become a qualified chartered accountant. Now when I say finish, it means that I need to clear all the subjects in my CA final to be able to become a full time employee in any firm. It can be in the same firm that I'm currently working in or it can be in another firm. So that's the first thing. So I'm uh, so any CA student uh, who is in the CA final level uh, are students who are working as well as uh, studying. So that's one thing. So the second question I've been getting a lot is about my teaching. Uh, a lot of people are not sure about when I started teaching and how I got into it. So I thought I'll cover that today. So I started teaching right after my 12th grade. Uh, when I was in 9th or 10th, I had a huge transformation from a student who did not really understand how studies work and how important it is. Uh, so from going to that point, I went to a point where I really started taking studies seriously. So I feel like uh, at that point, I was not aware about how everything works. And that that's very normal, I guess, uh, in school, you know, you, you're still figuring out things. So at that point, I did not understand how it works. And it just seemed like a burden. Uh, but my outlook towards it completely changed uh, when I was in 9th and 10th and um, that's when I thought that I want to help out other students who face this issue because sometimes uh, we're not explained in the right way how education is important and uh, why it is important. It just seems like a burden or sometimes it just seems like something that you have to do but you don't know the exact reasons behind that or the exact logic behind that. So when my outlook completely changed towards education and towards studying and I started developing an interest and it didn't feel like a burden anymore. That's when I thought that I, I think I can help out other students who feel that way. And uh, not just with that, um, when I joined 11th and 12th, uh, I took up commerce and that's when I discovered accountancy and economics completely. Till then, I just had a brief idea about how those subjects work. But uh, that's how I chose commerce because I was interested, but I didn't obviously did not know the whole subject matter. So when I joined 11th and 12th, uh, again, I saw that a lot of people found accountancy really difficult, but then um, I had a huge interest in it and I was able to, uh, you know, do the subject because of my interest and I used to keep reading up about it uh, beyond the books as well. So that helped me develop a really good interest in accountancy and economics and then I thought that, okay, these are the two subjects that I should teach. And uh, right after I finished my 12th board exam, I put up a flyer in my apartment that uh, I want to take up tuitions. Uh, so my dad was initially skeptical about this because of my age. And uh, my 12th board result was not even out at that point. So he was like, you know, how will people um, understand that you are credible or how will people know that uh, you can do a good job? So what I did is I just started with some demo classes and um, it was a great experience for me. I was learning as well as teaching. So it was covering both sides of the spectrum and it really gave me very new perspectives. So uh, that's how I started my classes. I started taking tuitions accountancy for accountancy and economics. Um, I started with uh, demo classes, like I said, and then it grew on to, you know, a full academic course and people who joined with me in 11th grade continued in 12th. And I also had a lot of students um, for crash course. And that was very interesting for me, actually. In fact, this year also, I've had many students uh, who have come for crash course where uh, they just want to learn the basics of accountancy and economics irrespective of where they are. So in fact, I had many college students who approached me because they wanted to clarify their basics. And I think that's a great thing because a lot of people don't realize how strong the basics are, how uh, important your basics 
are and how strong they should be so i was really happy when you know a lot of uh, people approached me for crash courses and it was it has been a great experience so i've been teaching the last 3 years and this is my fourth year of teaching and uh, uh, then recent i always had it in mind to start a youtube channel but i was not really sure how and uh, when to execute it and you know how to go about the whole thing then uh, recently i thought okay maybe now this is a good time to start because uh, i've just finished my two levels and uh, uh, there is some time before my ca final exam so i thought that maybe i could start it now and that's when i decided to start i always wanted to you know start a platform for career queries because as a as a person in school myself i had lot of questions lot of doubts and a lot of times i didn't even know about lot of professions that i could take up so i slowly discovered that along the way and uh, uh that's why i feel like this is a topic where people just go for the conventional options i'm not saying that conventional options are bad uh, uh for commerce actually ca seems like a very conventional option in most cities uh so it's not it's not that conventional options are bad it's just that a lot of times people don't know that there are other courses they could take up or there are other professions that they are interested in for example i discovered my interest in psychology really later on so it was after i joined my ca course full time so it's not that i don't like ca but it's just that i also like psychology a lot so this really happens where you know you don't really know uh, about all the professions that you could take up at the time where you have to take the decision because obviously it's very early on uh, in school itself you have to decide your stream and then right after you have to decide what college you're going to take which profession you're going to take up so that's how i got into this whole uh, career queries thing and that's how i decided to start a youtube channel on this and um, uh, luckily enough i've had many friends who are in different streams and who have taken up very interesting different professions so that really helps me to bring together a channel like this so i've been trying to contact them and trying to get them on the channel to share their experience and share their perspective so there are also a lot of myths about uh, choosing the profession a lot of people think that if you take commerce and arts you don't have enough options a lot of people say that uh, you know uh, in commerce and arts the scope is not as much or you won't get a good job or you won't be well paid and there are so many so many myths right now everybody thinks that in science there are only two options medical and engineering and that's not true and even for within engineering most people prefer taking computer science without even knowing that there are so so many other streams in engineering now i'm not saying that nobody knows i'm just saying that most of us struggle with that and i also struggled with that um, as a student myself when i had to make the decision for myself so that's how i started this channel uh, i hope you guys uh, are liking the videos so do share in the comments or you can dm me on my instagram page about any particular topic or any particular field that you would want me to cover and i will definitely try to get somebody who is an expert in that field or who is studying uh, that particular course and i will try to get them on the channel to share their experience and if you know somebody who is doing something really different or is, do is doing a course that i haven't covered on my channel yet i would definitely be open to uh, you know talking to you about it and getting them on the channel if you know all parties are okay with that so thank you so much for watching